Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right, so this morning, our morning reading will be come from uh, Colossians 3, verses 12 through 16. But of course, we know all week long we've been discussing uh, all the uh, New Year's resolutions and all the slogans, uh, things like New Year, New Me, and, and this is my year of breakthrough and change, and all that different stuff. But what is the truth? As we've been sharing all week, the truth is, if you're going to see a new you, if you're going to see change around you, you must what? Renew your mind, right? We must change our thinking, all right? If you're going, or if, because if you don't change your thinking, you're going to continue to produce the same things you produce in what in previous years all right so i must renew my mind i must get into the word of god and allow the word of god what to transform my life by changing my thinking all right and we saw that this is a constant process this is not a one-time event you know this is this is an ongoing daily day-by-day -day process you're putting off and putting on you're putting off that old way of thinking and putting on what? A new way of thinking, all right? And this is day by day, all right? And uh, we saw some things that we need to put off. Uh, we saw the anger and the malice and the strife and unforgiveness. He said, well, you got to put all that stuff off, my God. And if you're going to see the new you, the new man, the new woman you desire to see, it doesn't come because the year changed. It comes because, what, you are taking the time to change your thinking, okay? So let's read Colossians 3, verse 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which you also are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Again, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. My God. So yesterday we saw some things we must put off. But right here we see the things he tells us what that we need to be putting on. He tells us to put on what mercy and kindness and humility and meekness and long suffering, forbearance, forgiveness and love. He says what? These are the things you need to put on. My God, put these things on, my Lord. It's cold out there. Put it on. <laughs> my God. How do we put these things on? By allowing the word to dwell in us richly. Get that word of God and you hear it richly abundantly my god you spend time with your word my lord thank god for all the other stuff you're spending time with but make sure you're spending time with the word of god and getting the word in you richly all right not just on sunday as we always say but every day and you're going to find yourself what changing on the inside and once you start changing on the inside you can see the things around you what begin to change my lord but you got to get that word in there richly you got to let the word come in and what transform you, you got to let that word come in what and change your thinking amen amen richly abundantly bless god all right but he told us the things what we need to put on put off that other stuff and put on these things and how do i do it by letting the word of god get on the inside of me in abundance richly my god like our brother copeland says get immersed in the word my god get drenched in that thing amen amen bless god so let's go ahead and take communion father we love it we bless you we praise you father we thank you for this new day and another opportunity you've given us to come in for your table to commune with you and one another. And for that, we say thank you. We take the bread right now, which represents your body, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all you're doing, for all you've done for each and every one of us. You've made, you were made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace, and our complete wholeness was upon you. With and by your stripes, we were healed, therefore we are healed. We do this in remembrance of you. We discern your body right now. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. We take the bread. We eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We take the cup. The cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus, 
Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love, all of our sins, past, present, future, forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. For that we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We take the cup of the blessing, we drink all of it. Hmm. Saying thank you, Jesus. All right, so let that word get in you richly this year. My Lord, not, not a little bit, richly, abundantly, immersed in the word, my God. And you're going to find your mind changing. You're going to find yourself changed on the inside. Therefore, the things on the outside, your life on the outside, you can see that changing also, all right? Let's get our favorite confession on this morning. The favor of God is in me, on me, and goes before me. The favor of God surrounds me everywhere I go and everything I do. I expect the favor of God to be in full manifestation in my life on today. The favor of God produces supernatural increase, promotions, restoration, honor, increased assets, greater victories, recognition, preferential treatment, petitions granted, policies changed, and battles won in which I don't have to fight. This is God set time to favor me. Amen. Hey, receive that, bless God. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you, Father. We shout grace, grace right now to all that's watching. Father, I thank you. Every need of every household is met in full with abundance and more than enough, Father. Father, I thank you for all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies. I thank you that you have healed them all, Father. And I speak peace, Father, to every house right now. Thank you for it, Father. We thank you for an awesome time, Father, on this weekend. Thank you for grace, Father, for your blessing, your favor, Father, flowing in every house, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, we love you guys. God bless you. We thank you for joining us all week long for Everyday Communion. And we pray each and every one of, one of you have an awesome weekend. And we, hey, join us next week, my Lord. Amen. Amen. We love you. Have a good one.